Okay, fifth grade, lesson 54, and this is on dividing by multiples of 10, okay? Now, since we're dividing by multiples of 10, I want you to see what that actually looks like. 75. Okay, as I was saying, I'm sorry about that. Um, so it's going to be 75 divided by 30, okay? Now, there's two different ways that you can perform this problem. The first one is you're asking yourself how many times will 30 go into this big number, okay? We could start with the beginning one, 30 times what equals 7, but that's too small. So we have to go to 30 times something equals 75, okay? Now, there's two different ways. I'm going to show you one way. One way is to take and say how many 30s equals 75 without going over. So what you would do is you would take 30 plus 30s. And that equals 60. So did we reach 75? Not yet. Let's try one more 30. And we would get 90. So we went over. So two 30s is equals 60, which is the closest we can get to 75 without going over. So we would say two right here. Now the important thing is that I put a two above my five because I'm working with the whole number 75. If I was working with just seven, I would put my two here, okay? So, 30 times 2 equals, we found out, 60 just now, okay? So, I'm going to work the rest of that in the next video, okay? But one other thing that you can do is if I had 30 goes into 75, okay, and I was talking about a trick, you can take this and this, and that is, can be your trick numbers to go 3 times what equals 7, and you can come up with, oh, 3 times 2 equals 6. So that's the closest number without going over, which would equal 7. And so we would use our 2 using our trick. 3 times 2 equals 6, which is almost 7. So this is using the trick version if you wanted to use it. Okay? Sorry about that. Okay. So as I was saying, after you did your trick, okay, and you figure out that 3 will go into 7 two times, okay, you're going to kind of just stop there, and because we're doing 30 goes into 75, it's going to go here. Remember how I was telling you that? Mm -hmm. The 2 needs to go above the 75. Now, if you don't like my trick method, okay. let me show you another way. I'm saying how many 30s equal 75? Okay. So let's try some. Does 30 plus 30 equal 75? That would equal 60. 60. Well, let's add another 30. That would equal... Over. 90, so we went over. So we only used two 30s. Okay. Instead of three. One, so we have two, to do three. two 30s and just add up. Okay. So well, that's, that, that's what that's saying is 30 times two or 32 times. Um, Either way. You get what it's saying? Yeah. Okay. So what is 32 times? Let's do our dad, mom, sister, brother, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. We divided 30 will go into 75 two times. Now let's multiply. What is 2 times 30? Um, and then that's when you can just use that what you did over here. Uh, 60. 40 plus 30 is 60. Okay? So I'm going to put 60. Now you're going to subtract. 75 take away 60 would give me what? Um, that would be 15, right? Very good. Okay? Anything to bring down? No. That means you're done. What do you so want to do with remainder this? 15? Remainder 15. Very good. Okay? You feel like you understand it? Uh-huh. Let's try another one. This is 454 divided by 30. Now, let's do it the trick method first. Okay, what this is saying is that 30 will go into 4. Is that right? Will that work? 30 oh, no. something? Okay. Will 30 go into 45? Yes. Yes. Okay, so we're what we're doing is this goes into this. Now, let's use our trick method. Okay? Okay. How much time would you say three goes into four? Um, three times what equals four? One. Closest you can get one. without going over. Okay, one's going to be our answer, okay? So once you remove your trick, okay? So I'm going to put a one. Why am I putting my one here? So it covers the 45 and okay. not the Because if I just did a 1 here, 30 times 1 would not equal 4. Okay? So we want 45, the whole number. Okay? So 30 times 1, what is 30 times 1? Dad, mom, sister, brother. 
Yeah. Let's divide. It's big brother. 30 times 1 is 30. We're going to multiply that. Now let's subtract it. We would get 15 under here. Bring down. Now, this is our new number. Right? Okay. All right, let's look at this. Remember? Okay, let's do our trick. Three. Okay, well, three going to one, though. No. So let's do 15 as our trick. As our starter one. Uh -huh. Three will go into 15 how many times? Um, five. Five. Okay, so that's our trick we're going to use. Okay, so I'm saying 30, five of those would equal 154. Well, let's see what 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30, that's five of them. Uh -huh. Or I could have just done 30 times five. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. That equals 150. Did I go over? No. No. You think I could add another 30? No. No. So, 5 is going to be the right number to choose. So, what is 30 times 5? Uh, 150. Very good. Now, subtract. By 4. Right? Bring down. Nothing else to bring down. So, what do we do? Just remainder 4. Remainder 4. Or, do you remember how we were oh, doing yeah. 4 over here? Like 4 out of yep. 30, right? Very good. Very good. All right, you feel like you understand it? Uh-huh. All right, let's do one more that has a decimal. 20. Okay, we're taking and dividing $4.60. Okay. okay. So this is if it's saying our total amount was $4.60 and we bought 20 items. How much was each item? So let's say we bought 20 pencils. Okay. How much was each pencil? what we're trying $4. to do. $4.60. Well, that's how much the total is. Oh. See? Yeah. Okay. So, dividing always helps us answer how much each. Each is the key word for division. Okay. Okay. So, help me out here. Okay. All right. Help me out, Eli. Okay. Because we're looking at this big number 20. Are we going to do the trick? Do you want to do the trick or you want to just try to add some over here to answer it? We'll try to add. Okay. So, let's take, and we're trying to get 20... And then we're trying to, would he go into four? No. Would he go into 46? Yes. Okay, let's see how many 20s equal 46. Remember, you, you don't pay attention to the decimal until the end. Okay? So 20 will go into 46. 20, let's add one more 20. What does that give us? 40. 40. You think we could add another 20? No. So how many 20s did I do? Two. Two. Why am I putting that two there? Because if it went over, it own all four dollars and sixty cents and if we don't want back it only on four very good so because we wanted to do 46 we're going to put it here if we wanted it to do the four we put it here if we wanted it to do all of it you're right we'd put it there good job all right so what is 20 times two uh 40 very good now let's subtract get six and bring down 60. okay that's my new number all right so now I'm saying 20 will go into 60 how many times? Let's go back to our method. Right now I've got it up to 40 using two of them. Mm -hmm. You want to try another one? Try it. And what would that give us? That gives us 60. Perfect. So how many 20s do we have? Three. Three. Okay. So we divided. Now let's multiply. Three 23s. No, three <laughs> 20s. <laughs> or 23s, whichever. Three 20s equals how much? Uh, 60. Very good. Now let's subtract and bring down nothing else, and it actually comes out even, no remainder. 23. Yep, now. 23 cents. All right, cent. now pay attention to this. What's my do with my decimal? Uh, do you bring it down? Slide it up. Slide it up. Slide it up. Okay. And you put zero if okay. you want to. Mm -hmm. And so how much did each pencil cost? 23 cents. 23 cents. You got it? Yes. Okay, some people like to pull up the decimal at the very beginning so they don't forget it, and that's fine too. Okay. Okay, that's lesson 54.